Guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you read the title. This is going to be another just update for you guys. Video log, grocery shopping, blah, blah, blah. It's been, uh, it's been almost a week now since I made it to the grocery store. Actually, tomorrow will be a week, I think so. So yeah, just kind of been abiding by the rules like everybody else. Just stay inside, stay away from people as much as you can. Just, um, just try to do the best we can to get through this crap. I hope all you guys are taking care of yourselves and taking care of your family, your kids and all that stuff. But um, yeah, so obviously I was able to find these finally because last week I uh, I got the dick kick on these. I had to get the small version of these, so I primarily eat those. You know what it is too is when I was uh, going up and down the uh, aisles, I mean there was a little bit of canned soup but not very much. The ones that I particularly like to uh, buy if I do buy any canned soup, it's just um, it's more practical for me and I get a lot more bang for my buck. I'm trying to obviously eat protein sources as much as possible and you just get a lot more out of that. A can of soup is a little over two bucks and this right here is $1.99 and I'm getting a lot more, a lot more bang for my buck out of that stuff. And then of course my Icos triple zero and then I'm getting low on a cup of joe, my coffee, my instant coffee, let's move some of that without breaking it, the glass that would suck, uh, buttload, boatload of energy drinks, helps me play all in blistering fast notes, I wonder if that's going to become a meme. Okay, or a gif, whatever the hell you guys call them. I don't know, I'm old. Oh, mushrooms for my pitas, of course. Honey crisp apples. That will smell good. Smell delicious. I have to have one soon. And what does that sound like? It sounds like energy drinks, you'd be right. Yep, some more of those uh, rock stars. Uh, for whatever shaving take those pubes down a little bit you know uh, Frank's Frank's red hot I use this so this uh, buffalo sauce I'll use on those pitas as well they like to switch up the flavors still got plenty of pizza sauce uh, the Kroger I go to doesn't have my G Hughes barbecue sauce that I use on those pitas so I couldn't get that just yet um, of course more yogurt Yogurt. Yeah, I'll fight to the death on the yogurt. Toilet paper, you guys can eat that. Whatever stupid shit you guys are doing. I swear to God, I can't figure you guys out. You guys are idiots. I don't know. Uh, and then this one is really good too to just kind of mix and blend them together. That is another, is that a Dannon? It's a Dannon. My favorite. I don't really like the Kroger brand too much of this I definitely there is a taste difference there absolutely is a taste difference between that and good old-fashioned V8 and V8 is only like 20 cents more now for the same size and I'm actually thirsty right now and I want a little bit oh, this stuff is delicious that might be a little weird but I don't know I got hooked on that a couple years ago working in the blistering heat uh, we were pipe fitting some kind of cell or whatever we were doing, some kind of robotic system. And uh, I just felt like switching it up, so I ended up getting a V8 out of our lunch room, our lunch area in the shop. And that was the first time I had a V8, and I've been hooked ever since. Anyway, pitas. You guys know I love those things. Uh, pitas. And pitas. Um, and this thing right here, oh, what do you know? Pitas. So yeah, get four of those, throw two in the freezer, one in the fridge, and then one will stay out here with me. Um, that's always, I have that every single day. Uh, Post-workout or not, currently it's post-guitar playing because there's no gym for me right now. I haven't worked out in like two weeks, and I don't care because I'm all about playing the guitar. And just having fun with that, making the videos for you guys. Always, man, I appreciate you guys watching my stuff, too. And, you know, it means a lot to me when you guys come out here and you're getting something out of it, you enjoy it. Um, whether we're going through a hard time or not, it's just really cool that you guys come over to my channel and watch my stuff. I appreciate all you guys. You guys are awesome. Oh, what is this? Oh, look what we got here. Look what I found. I couldn't even believe I found this. 
It was like the last one. So yeah, I can now, um, I can live without fear taking a shit and I know that I can actually wipe my ass and I don't have to use like, I don't know, my hand or my bath towel or something. Actually, that'd be really fucking disgusting. <laughs> Ew. Uh, yogurts again. So all these small containers, since these have a higher amount of fiber, I like to mix those with the other ones, the Carb Master Kroger yogurts, uh, just to get my fiber count up and to kind of change the flavor up too. So these are the mixed berry. Somebody was an ass and bought all my blueberries up. Um, what else we got here? That's it for my groceries. Oh, now I gotta put it all away. I gotta move it again. But no, I wanted to make this video for you guys. Um, anything else that I can add to this? Let's see. So I'm uh, currently working on a staining video for you guys because I've been doing this whole process. If you guys have been, I can't even speak right now. If you guys have been following me on my Instagram page, you might have saw a picture I posted of my Jackson Soloist, my Slime Green. So I've been working on uh, staining that fretboard and I'm just about to the completion process of that. Those videos should be up within the uh, next few days. I'm trying to catch up and uh, get these Q&A videos out for you that I shot um, over the weekend for you after I got home from that park. And I just, I, I wanna try and not be so much of a scatterbrain because I do that a lot um, when it comes to making content. I'll just, I'll, I'll film something and then I'll just get sidetracked, do something else. And then like for instance with the uh, Bastard V, I haven't, uh, I never got to that video. I think, what did I do that like six years ago or something stupid like that? No, it was like, two months ago or three months ago, whatever it was, but I figured just do, if I have any footage to share of that one, I can just kind of edit that in, or if you guys want to see that, I don't know how much, I can't even remember, I gotta go back and find out what I filmed and things like that. When I get that far away from a project, then I kind of get a little disoriented and forget what the hell I did when I did all that stuff, but uh, but no, the Jackson is, um, is, it took a little bit more work to do, which you guys will see in the video. Um, it was a learning process for me the second time I did it uh, and it's definitely given me a little more of a hassle than the Bastard V was. It's just, I mean, it's a piece of wood. It's going to act a little different than, you know, the next guitar with that piece of wood on it. But anyway, enough of that. Um, there's going to be more riffs. Obviously, I can always provide the uh, killer death metal riffs, the uh, finger spaghetti noodle and all that stuff for you. Uh, some plug-in work, I got a couple more things, a couple more projects I've been working on for that. Some of my original songs that I've been um, just sharing with you guys here on the channel. I'm still trying to get better recording, as you guys all know, and um, I've, de I've definitely been making headway with uh, the progressions of that, slowly but surely. Like now I got the Easy Drummer 2 software, I'm still learning that, but it definitely sounds a million times better than those shitty MIDI drums that I used to uh, share with you guys when I would do my riffs. Uh, and then anything else I can add in closing right before I cut that camera. I got something. There was something. There was one more thing that I had to share with you guys, and I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, DSI cover. Yeah, so that's going to be in the works too. I'm going to do Dead by Dawn for you guys before I go and start because I want to knock out these uh, these projects accordingly. I want to string up my bastard V because I got a set of strings that I think it will. Uh, It'll do just fine with that, with the D standard tuning I want to give it. Block the bridge. Uh, I got a whole idea to do with that. And the Beast, um, I'll be able to work with its shittiness. Uh, now, by the way, I did, uh, I took and took that plastic off of the pickups. Made zero difference. Um, I pretty much expected that. But I figured I'd give it a shot and it makes me look less stupid by having the plastic over the uh, pickups. For whatever reason that I left it on there, I have no idea. Sometimes I just do dumb shit like that. But it's off of there, it looks better, it makes me look cooler, I guess. Um, and then, before I go retuning all that and doing what I want to do with it, it's still in the tuning for Deicide, so I'm going to do that cover. And that should be up uh, as time goes on. I can't really give you an exact date on that, but that cover is definitely in the works. So, um, I appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. And you guys be safe out there. Take care of your family, take care of your kids, take care of everybody that you love. and. Um, is really close to you. I, again, um, thanks for watching.